let's hit this. So we have Curtis is being seen in a center for low vision and balance for an evaluation using a CTSIB protocol. The patient is found to, to become increasingly unstable when the eyes are blindfolded or when the dome is placed over the head, regardless of whether the foam is used. All right. Given the prior information, which of the following conclusions is the most accurate? So we have A, the patient is dependent on the sens uh, somatosensory system only. B, the patient is dependent on vision, vestibular, and somatosensory. C, the patient is dependent on vision. And D, the patient is dependent on the vestibular system but lacks pain, temperature, and vibration sensation. All right, so let's go ahead and knock this puppy out. Hopefully y'all can hear me okay. Here we go. So we have Curtis is being seen in the Center for Low Vision and Balance for an eval using a CTSIB protocol. Now, when I look at this first sentence here, I don't see a lot going on. But I do see that we're talking about the CTSIB protocol. And you can't just glide by this sentence. You, you have to slow up and be like, okay, what do we know about CTSIB already? What's the knowledge that I have about that? Now, we're talking about the clinical test for sensory interaction and balance. If you're not familiar with that, it's kind of like the, the foam and dome. You may know of it as the foam and dome. All right. And we use it in order to determine, well, if our patient has balance issues, yes. But we're really trying to figure out what is our patient, uh, what is our patient reliant upon? Which of the sensory systems is our patient reliant on? for balance, all right? And before we move down the question, we have to know what the sensory systems are, right? And the sensory systems being vision, somatosensory, more that proprioception, and then we have uh, vision as well. So vestibular, somatosensory, and vision. All right, so let's go ahead and move down the question. It says the patient is found to become increasingly unstable when the eyes are blindfolded or when the dome is placed over the head, regardless of whether the foam is used. Okay, so that's quite a big sentence, right? So we gotta slow up a little bit. We gotta slow up a little bit and, and see what is this really saying to us. Now, if you're familiar with CTSIB, you know that there's six conditions, yes or no? Come on, people, give me a like, give me a love, baby. If I'm talking BS, let me know. CTSIB, is it six conditions or not? Let me know, all right? So we have six conditions with the CTSIB. And this sentence right here is giving us four of them, all right? This sentence right here, the patient is found to become increasingly unstable when the eyes are blindfolded or when the dome is placed over the head, regardless of whether the foam is used or not. That is giving us actually four of the six conditions. And it's telling us that the patient is in unstable in four of the six conditions. Well, you just have to know which one those are, right? Um, so when we really look at this, remember, we have six conditions. The first condition called C1 is going to be when we're testing everything. Eyes are open. The patient's on level floor. Uh, you know, nothing is influencing them at all. We're just seeing if they can stand up. We have C2, and that's where we have eyes closed, right? They're on level ground, but the eyes are closed. So I call that EC. We have condition three. And in condition three, the eyes are open, but they're domed up. All right, they have the dome over the head. All right, so that's C3. C4 is now when we put the person on foam, but the eyes are open. So eyes open and then foam. You like my chicken scratch, right? Eyes open, foam. C5 is now where we're, when we're going to have the eyes closed, and then the person's on the foam. So eyes closed. And then uh, person on foam. And then the last one, C6, or the sixth condition, is when the person is domed up, got the dome on the head, the eyes are open, and they're also on the foam. All right, foam and dome, baby. So what is this sentence telling us now that I've just written out all of the, the conditions? Well, it's telling us that the patient's having a problem when the eyes are closed or the blindfolded, so they're having a problem with two. They're having a problem if the dome is on, so they're having a problem with three. They're having problems when the person is, again, eyes closed, which is five, or blindfolded, and then six when the dome's on. And it says it doesn't matter if they're on the foam or not. It doesn't, doesn't really matter here. 
Okay, so really they're having an issue with two, three, five, and six. Conditions two, three, five, and six. And now that we know that, we can continue progressing down the question. All right, so given the prior information, which of the following conclusions is the most accurate? Now we just got to figure out what we found from, from the sentence before. So when we look at A, and A says the patient is dependent on the somatosensory system. The patient is dependent on the somatosensory system. Now here's the deal. If you look at condition two and three, we saw that the patient's on level ground. And that's where we're really trying to test the patient's somatosensory system. All right, we're really trying to see if their sensory system, the somatosensory system is intact, is it, if it's giving us good information. But we see that the patient still falls on two and three. And so we know that the somatosensory is a problem. There has to be a problem with it because if there wasn't, we should see that the patient was able to hold themselves up on C2 and C3, that we didn't have instability. All right. And so we can already eliminate A because the somatosensory system is a problem. The person's not dependent on that. All right. And so with that information that we know now, can we not start eliminating some other answer just based upon that? Let's look at B. Let's look at B. B says the patient is dependent on vision, vestibular, and somatosensory. Well, I just told you right now that the patient is not dependent on somatosensory. Otherwise, they would be stable on two and three. So we know B can't be the right answer because part of the answer is untrue. True or not true. All right, so we can go ahead and, and just go ahead and eliminate B because B is not a good option here. But before we just go ahead and eliminate that one, let's look at this extra part. It says vestibular in there as well. And so in order for you to have really good confidence about eliminating these answers, you have to know, well, when am I testing the vestibular system in all these conditions? When is that happening? And that's my question to you all right now is when are you testing the vestibular system in these conditions? Is it condition one, two, three, four, all of them, five and six? Which one is it? And so uh, if you understand CTSIB, you understand that conditions five and six are really testing for your vestibular system to see if it is intact. And so the fact that I'm unstable at that level lets me know that there's a problem with the vestibular system. And so both of these shouldn't be there. The patient is not reliant on those. All right, and so B is definitely incorrect. Let's look at C. C says, well, the patient's dependent on vision. Well, that's very interesting because, you know, when you look at this, the patient, it doesn't say anything about C1. It doesn't say anything about C4. I can infer that those ones are not impacted. Otherwise, it would have said that, right? And so it just so happens that C4 is really focusing on your vision and testing that. All right? It also just so happens that we've already determined that the somatosensory system is not working right. We've determined that the vestibular system is not working right. So in order for the person to even stand up straight, they have to be reliant on their only other option, the visual system. So the patient is dependent on the visual system. That is true. Right now, my answer is C, but as always, we got to make sure that D is not the better answer. And in this case, the more accurate conclusion. Let's look at D. D says the patient is dependent on the vestibular system, but lacks pain, temperature, and vibration sensation. Well, did we not just say that conditions five and six is a testing for the vestibular system? They failed that. They're unstable. So we know that they're not dependent on that system. That's number one. Number two is CTSIB is not a test of the patient's pain, temperature, or vibration sensation. It's not testing any anterior or lateral spinothalamic tracts or necessarily like DCML specifically. It's not testing those specifically. All right. And therefore, D is not correct. It's not a good answer. All right, so it leaves us with our final answer of C here. The patient is dependent on vision, and there's quite a bit of evidence here 
when we're looking at the results of the CTSIB, there's quite a bit of evidence stating that the patient is dependent on vision. <music>